Hello, welcome to game night, table takes game night that is. I am your game master for tonight, uh, Peter Atkinson, and I'm so excited to be running Star Trek Adventures by Modifius. Thank you, Modifius, for sponsoring this show. Um, and I have an amazing cast of players. So why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us where you can be found on the internet, all that sort of good stuff, starting with you, Bonsai. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name uh, is Bonsai Baby, and I'm here on Twitch. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Twitter. And I am going to be playing Valeris, who is the chief medical officer, and Ricky Santos, who is the operations manager who did not just leave the ship uh, and is now trapped on another ship filled with nuclear bombs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he did. No, 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 consulting no, no, no. my notes. All right, Noir. Yeah, uh, I I play the science chief, uh, Warlow, and the chief engineer, Stem. Both of us are pretty bummed about bad things happening to the ship. Um, Nothing's uh, bad happened yet. No, nothing bad is Stem uh, has returned to the ship. That's great. Uh, there's things moving at us really quickly. That's less great. Uh, and there are also bombs where the rest of the crew is which is the least great. So, you know, you live, you learn, you get looks. All right. Uh, Sarah. Hey, I'm Sarah Moore. You can find me on Facebook at Actor Sarah Moore and everywhere else on the internet at Pixies and Pins. Um, and today I'm going to be playing Captain Pixie, who is down um, on the planet, uh, trying hard not to either get catch a bad disease or get beat up by the locals um and also uh lieutenant takara who is currently real close to a nuclear bomb there you go that about sums it up all right javion hi everybody i'm javion uh and i'm going to be playing two characters just like everyone else uh, stan jenkins is the chief of security with uh well who's very good at interrogating people but it's only because he's very paranoid. Um, and William Axelrod, who just wants to go fast. <laughs> he hasn't had that chance yet. Maybe, maybe this is the episode where he finally gets to, to turn on the, the turbo. <laughs> All right. Fingers Great. crossed. Okay. Um, we, uh, as we start, I want to say that you have four points of momentum. Uh, you ended the last session with five, uh, but this is a new scene. Whenever you have a new scene, you lose one point of momentum. So the party has four points of momentum. I have three points of threat. Uh, basically, the mechanic on threat is I'm supposed to get the number of players times two at the beginning of each session. It kind of resets. But since we're doing short sessions, um, I'm considering this an extension of last session. And so I'm um, down to three, which is really good for you. Um, before we get going, I want to apologize to Noir. Uh, last session, I dropped a little thread you had. Uh, your character wanted uh, your character uh, um, uh, wanted to. Uh, this is Warlow Brock. We're talking about the science officer was going to try to extract some materials out of the oh. body of Elias. <laughs> and so, uh, since I, 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 I'm going to deprive you of the role for that and just say that you successfully did so Ooh. and that you have yeah. some of the, uh, of these, uh, radioactive materials that are of some strange alien composition. You don't quite understand, uh, in, I don't know, would you put them in your pockets? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll, let's say you have some sort of great container for such a thing that is- a, Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Starfleet uh, Ziploc bags. Yeah, Starfleet <laughs> Ziploc <laughs> Radio, radio action. Tupperware. Yeah, yeah, perfect, great. Uh, okay, so that little thing, it's just great being able to have these on Twitch and be able to go back and watch the, the prior session and like, oh, hey, I never got back to that. So, uh, okay. Uh, Sarah, would you like yes. to do the captain's log for uh, Captain Pixie? Uh, so only only knowing what Captain Pixie knows, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, correct. so uh, we are down on the planet, which I have written down the name of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are at the mining colony they are running out of food and they have several 
people in their infirm infirmary, including the xenoanthropologist Elias that we were supposed to pick up. Uh, and they are all unconscious and not healing and acting as if they have some sort of radiation poisoning, which is from a, a source that we are unable to really um, identify. Uh, although uh, my team was able to e extract some pieces from it and put it in Tupperware. So we're gonna check that out later. And uh, the locals are not real pleased with Starfleet in general. And so we are trying to keep a low profile. And when we, <clears throat> the next thing on our list was to go check out the shuttle that the patients came down in. That was where we left our heroes. Yes. She says to her own, <laughs> like, captain's log, calling yeah. us heroes. Yeah, it's your personal Either. captain's log. Yeah. I right. like, yeah. Just like us heroes. Like, boosting ourselves you guys feel good you found elias uh, you figured out what the problem was with the disease you extracted yeah. samples you know uh, uh you know it's it's uh you know william made friends with some locals he had a drinking buddy valeris made friends with uh Sian, the, the nurse yeah everything's just going great seems good yeah, seems good. Uh, well, let's get a different perspective. Um, Bonsai, would you like to give a little cap, uh, operations manager personal log entry for how things are, uh, the current situation on Osun Station? Welcome to Ricky's log, future captain in one day. Uh, right now, we are uh, stuck on the ship. We encountered some unknown radioactive substances, uh, Takara and uh, uh, hold on. What what is um Jay found? What's your other character's name that's with us? Willis. W William. 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 Excellent. William are now <laughs> investigating. Uh, me and Stem, my buddy Stem, uh, we're going in to go ahead and <laughs> insert the uh, universal U USB that we were supposed to do. Uh, actually, you, you 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 glance over at Stem when you say that, and you see him phasing out on the, the teletransporter. He's <laughs> just, just in time to catch the little. <laughs> Oops, I guess Tim's not here. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he yeah. took a universal translator with him. <laughs> a universal translator, yeah. Oh, so he did, he took it. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, we wore, uh, now uh, a suddenly emergency has uh, happened to us. Uh, STEM, due to some operational issues, STEM was the only one who was able to get back uh, teleported on the ship. And I bravely will navigate my crew on here to go back, uh, hopefully remedy all of this, but now we come back with more knowledge that we did not have before. And I've declared this shuttle quest a very good success. <laughs> Great, very well. Okay, so um, the um, uh, before we jump into where we left off in terms of the unknown objects hurling through space at the, at the Revelation, your starship, um, let's find out how in how it's been going in the RPG session of Modiphius uh, with the, um, uh, uh, so we've gotten little updates. Uh, Javion, you, you, uh, your, your character, uh, William is the dungeon master. And so we got, you, you described a little bit about um, this being a high octane campaign. And um, uh, we've had reports from uh, Banzai and Noir about what their characters have done today. It's Sarah's turn. Um, what uh, what sort of character is Takara playing in the Modifius RPG, and um, what in what way did they recently shine? So uh, Takara, I, I mean, I I feel like we established that this is sort of is this high fantasy campaign? Yeah, there's been a we've established that there was a starship and a warlock and a warlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, and excellent, and a space bard. And space part. part. That's right. Okay. Um, so uh, Takara is playing uh, a space paladin. Um, and this has a, <laughs> a, a, a paladin, if you will. And um, she is really trying to embrace the role play aspect of it because um, it was stressed a lot by their their game master that that was what this was for and so she challenged herself and this last session was really role play heavy and um takara used the dice to mechanically have really heartfelt human interactions with the other characters mechanically do it <laughs> she's not good at it. she can't do it in real life because of her vulcan 
nature, but she understands that this is what is supposed to happen for the game. And so she, she rolled and got her high numbers to interact with them. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Okay. Well, we've been doing a little bit of this. Why? Okay. So today for the last session, I get to announce a little bit of mechanic relating to that, which is that in any task coming up, be like, you know, if you were watching Star Trek, the movie, they would tie what they would tie lessons from the RPG into what the characters are doing on the ship. Like your RPG know. experience might like give you an idea. So if you can convince me that uh, in one of your test today that there was something about the RPG experience that gave you an insight that you can apply to the task, then I'll give you an extra die. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's watch this Vulcan try to yeah, let's, let's do interact that. with people. Um, we have also been explaining mechanics in each session. Briefly, we're going to cover one mechanic today in our weekly, you know, this is how to play Star Trek Adventures. Um, and it's actually the one of the most important mechanics of the game, I saved it for this session because I didn't want you to blow this early. I want you to have it at your disposal for today. And it's called the determination mechanic. So you have a point of determination. Determination is like ultra, ultra advantage uh, in D&D. So you can use your point of determination uh, when you're in a, involved in a task. Now it has to relate to the mission or your values. But if the task is, relates to the mission or your values, you can use a point of determination in a task to get an extra die and have that die automatically roll a one. Because remember, in this Ooh. system, ones are low or good, yes. 20s are bad, a one is like a crit. So it's like auto crit with an extra die. So uh, it's two automatic successes that you could do at some point in this game with a task. It has to be your character. You can't give it to somebody else. So there you go. Okay, now, values. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, now we are ready to get started. Okay, we left in the middle of three objects coming toward the ship. And uh, we are going to, uh, since, um, and uh, oh, let's see, Warlow, no, Stem, has, Stem has just been uh, transported to the ship. Uh, just now. And so the way, by the way, we're going to alternate, we're going to basically be in conflict now. And so we're going to use initiative in a way. And uh, it is, but we're going to start with um, uh, the, the ship itself. The revelation is going to be like a group. And then each of the, uh, the, the lead characters are a group. Supporting characters are that are not on, on the ones that are on ocean station will be a group and then the bad guys will be a group um and the bad guys weapons that they fire at you are going to be a group that's how so that's how it's going to work the revelation and the weapons are going to go first and then we will alternate okay okay and uh, when we get to like a group then everybody in that group goes okay so the um uh in on that on the ship Stem, my guess is that you are running as fast as possible to the engineering department, but maybe you have a different different idea, Noir. So, um, if I recall correctly, there are projectiles heading at us at a very fast speed. Correct? They're, so about, fast. they're about to hit you. That's what's going to happen next. I'll give you that. The, the, the oh, spoilers. And, and I'll tell you what else is happening on the ship because you're all going as a group, okay? So, um, the uh, person, uh, the person sitting at the weapons console, is going to try and put up the shields before the weapons hit. And that's going to be a die roll. That I'll let Javion make that die roll when we do it because mm -hmm. you know it's it's basically somebody that is under your command. Uh, there is the person sitting at the navigation control. Uh, what you can do, what the navigator can do in combat is basically assist on evasive maneuvers. So uh, the um, uh, Two characters do evasive maneuvers together. The navigator plots good routes and good opportunities for the evasive maneuver. And then the, uh, um, uh, I think it's going to be the operations manager who makes the maneuver. All okay. right. So if I recall correctly, if we move the, 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 the planet's going to get hit or the, the place where, where the rest of the crew is. So we've got to take this hit. So STEM is going to uh, try to divert as much energy as he can to shields 
so that we can brace uh, and take this hit without any. Okay, well, the first thing is you've got to get to engineering. That's why I said I imagine yeah. you're booking engineering. Yeah, so, he's, he's, uh, he's, book, he's booking it to yeah. engineering. Yeah, you're, you're booking it to engineering. Unfortunately, that takes like most of your actions to move from one department to another. Department. It might be gotcha. a minor action, actually. You might be able to get there and then do something, pass, uh, combat. Um, yeah, uh, oh, it's a minor action. So uh, you get, um, basically you get a, what's called like a major action, I guess it might be what it's called, and a minor action in a melee round. It's kind of like getting a, you know, a, a, there's a D&D &D corollary, but uh, so yeah, so that that's your, and you can actually do multiple minor actions. It's just, they, they start costing momentum after the first one. So um, you use minor action to get to engineering and you can, yes, you can, Increase power to the shields. Okay, so the way the mechanic works on that is the ship itself has a power, um, an amount of power, if you will. And this uh, ship has a power of nine. And that high. yeah, that seems good. Power, power of yeah. nine, yes. And you have uh, shields of 11 when they're up. Uh, you have uh, what's a scale it's called, which is four, which is kind of a measurement of how big the ship is. And um, when a part of the ship takes damage, uh, it, it takes breaches. And if the number of breaches gets to half the scale, in this case, two, then that uh, system is disabled. If it gets to four, then it's destroyed. So that's kind of how it works. It's not so much like, oh, if you get hit, the ship blows up, although that can happen. I will tell you the most vulnerable way for a ship to like, oh my God, it's over, is if the engines get destroyed and then it can you can lose containment on the warp core reactor. And that's bad. Um, but like any other part of the ship can basically get blown up and the ship's still around, it just loses those functionalities, so. Um, so yes, you may um, uh, attempt to um, improve Ray shield. Yep, uh, improve by rerouting. Well, um, do you want to raise the shields, or uh, you? There's actually somebody on the bridge who's trying to raise the shields. But if you okay. want to do it yourself, you have a much better chance of doing it than they do. Okay, then uh, yeah. First, we need to get the shields up. Then from there, he's going to try and uh, try and uh, divert more power to the shields. All right, great. Okay, so uh, let me uh, do this. Tackle. And I know I have a talent that's going to be useful for all of this. I just have to find where it is. Guess what is it? <laughs> It's called, it, it's called I Know My Ship. <laughs> um, okay, so. Okay, so do you, want, do you want me to read out I Know My Ship? Oh, yeah, please. Uh, it is whenever you attempt a task to determine the source of a technical problem with your ship, add a one bonus uh, D20. Oh, okay. Woo! So that's, that's not going to be too helpful mm -hmm. okay so raising the ship it is uh it's normally done at the security console but you can access all the ship systems from engineering yep. um so uh this is a security uh test uh which um you would use security plus um control probably okay. and you get you add those two numbers together, that's your target number. You roll two dice so against much. that. And you can now the difficulty typically of raising the shields is it's almost automatic. Like anybody, you know, the trick is doing it fast enough. So um instead of a difficulty one or even a difficulty zero, I'm gonna make it a difficulty two. So you so you need two successes to raise the shields in time before the incoming weapons detonate. So my target number is 16. 16? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. And I rolled a nine and a two. Woo! All right. Nice. There you, there you go. 
Uh, in the future, before you roll, I want to remind you that you can spin momentum to get extra dice. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, just yeah. Um, um, FYI. So you can Good. you can spin. You also, if you run low on momentum, you can give let me you can give me effectively two threat mm -hmm. to get an extra die. Uh, if you want to spend two more momentum in addition to that one or threat, you can roll two extra dice. Um, the ultimate limit of how many dice you can roll is five. FYI. Okay. All right. So, okay. Uh, so the shields go up in time. Uh, let's take a look at um, Noir. Uh, the NPC, unfortunately, only gets one die. So you get a roll. But also the navigation system is a die. Uh, so the first die... Um, is a 10. That's what they need. That's just kind of a default for the NPCs to get something done. So just give me a 1d20 uh, to see if the uh, you're if basically... If you want to use the... Can we use the momentum for the NPCs or no? No. This is, this is, ah. Yeah. No, that's, ah. just, that's just you guys. All right. Uh, are they sharing my target number? Uh, no, this is for, uh, I'm sorry, I said Noir, I meant JP on. So this is the navigator. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is okay. your understudy, you know, whoever reports to you that is sitting at the navigation console uh, to see if they can give good evasive uh, maneuvers assistance to the, um, uh, the, the um, to freeze. Who's so did my that? character make it back to the ship at some point then? No, this is an NPC. I'm NPC. having you roll because oh, okay. they're, they're sitting at your console. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Just involving you. And just one. Just one. Okay. Just one. Do do Ten or less. Ten or less. Five. Okay, great. Okay. Woo. All right. So, uh, and now, um, Bonsai, if you could roll for um, Freeze, who is uh, sitting at the uh, sitting at your console. The, uh, What's the, the target? Helm. Ten. Same. Uh, he's a Ten. veteran, but he doesn't mean he's really good believe, at this specific believe, task. Believe, 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 believe. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. He is ill prepared. Unfortunately, for this he, yeah, he uh, he fed. he is kind of slow. I mean, he is deliberate. He's very sharp. He's very knows the ship really well, but he's not very decisive. Mm -hmm. um, so, unfortunately, that will not help you. Um, so, okay, now it is time. That finishes what the ship is doing, and what. Um, now we're going to detonate the nuclear warheads that are the three of them that are detonating. On uh, okay, um, it's probably uh, fine. They're, they're called fine. neo. They're called neo nuclear uh, warheads. They're very advanced nuclear warheads. In fact, they're so advanced they're as good as a photon torpedo. <laughs> Old tech that is so good that it's like as good as current technology. <laughs> Um, okay, so the problem, the problem here is that the alien energy source, this advanced nuclear type of fusion, um, bypasses shields. Of course it does. Yeah. Uh, so oh, cool. congratulations for getting the shields up. Cool. Unfortunately, they do not do any good. Now, I will give you a hint, though. Star Trek is very much about um, a recurring uh, theme among the mechanics is for engineers and science officers, medical officers to figure out how to adapt systems to do what they need to do. Um, uh, uh, you know, so that's a very obvious hint. Basically, uh, there's a chance here that you will be able to modify the shield so that they mm. do uh they are helpful against the next round of attacks mm. but for this first round of attacks not so not so much my ship however <laughs> however you have a uh your ship has what's called a um a resistance rating of four and resistance does apply the resistance is basically the construction of the ship, like how solidly and sturdy it's built, and it's equal to the scale of the ship um, in this case. And that basically takes off four damage from each of these. Um, oh. uh, so, okay, so I I get to roll some dice and see how for each of the weapons um, and see if they hit. Roll so bad. 
Yeah. Get 20s. Get 20s. 6, 10. Oh, 18. That's a miss. Yeah, Here. one miss. That uh, that was for one missile. I only missed with one of the dice. So it's a hit. Sorry. Dang I need it. more of those high numbers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 15, 15, 17, 20. This oh, my God. It's fault. Okay. Uh, this is a miss. This is a miss. <laughs> Okay, so one of the one of the one of the missiles uh, did not hit the ship. So Yay. let's figure out what happened to it. So that's oh, very no. that's oh. very good for you. Mm. And the last one, uh, it barely hit the ship. Okay, so we got two nukes, neo nukes that hit the ship. Um, and since I rolled a twenty, there's a complication. And what? Uh, but it's a complication in your favor. Um, so uh, the one actually, so, okay. So the one where I missed the, the, the nuclear weapon, it did not detonate, but it, it stuck to the ship. Oh. Mm. oh, which sounds bad, but it also gives you a chance to study it. Now we got a nuke. So, yeah. Now we got now our we own. Have it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's probably some complications and tests that have to be made in order to use that to your advantage. But you have an alien dud nuke, mm -hmm. neo nuke, right. on the stuck to the whole of your ship. Great. Of the two nuclear weapons that hit, uh, for each of them, we roll stress dice. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm very stressed about it, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know how good or bad this is going to be. This is just going to be a random with the dice. Let's see what happens. Um, with um, exciting is a good thing. What's that? Anything exciting that happens? Yeah, thing. let's see. Let's see. Okay, so the first nuclear weapon. The first thing we do is there's a random chart for where the weapon hits. Oh no! <laughs> I love this. Like, so where, where, the, like, which part of the ship is going to suffer a problem? Okay, so that. Why is one of them on that chart just say STEM? That's not fair. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm about, right about, the, STEM. about but, to warp out and escape. <laughs> okay. So, so what it is, the damage is systems on the ship. And so the ship has uh, stats called systems, which are very much like your disciplines. They're um, uh, one is communications. Uh, computers, engines, sensors, structure, and weapons. The most likely, the dice, if I roll 10 to 17, it's structure. That's the most likely damage to the ship. But uh, uh, a one is communications, two is computers, three or six is engines, 18 to 20 is weapons. First roll is a six, engines. Uh-oh, remember what I said oh. earlier? <laughs> Why, did you just shoot us in the engines? Peter. Yeah. <laughs> See, there's a camera. There it is. It's Peter. a six. Yeah. Oh, that's not engine. the engines. Peter. Engines. That's like the one that can actually blow up the ship. Okay. Uh oh. Well. Uh -oh. Okay. Right. oh well. Oh, oh well. This was oh, well. This has been a great stream, everybody. Thanks okay. For so, <laughs> <laughs> well, seven of your eight characters will still be alive. That's true. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to roll the stress dice. And we count the number of, of um, oh, what do I call them? Starburst uh, stress, I guess. Uh, the number of stress <laughs> is how much damage. Explosions. <laughs> uh, and the damage is, we subtract four, which is sort of the absorption or, or hardness. Uh, mm -hmm. but, okay, so. It sounds like you're rolling so many dice. <laughs> I, I am. I'm rolling seven, which is huh? the, the same strength as a photon torpedo. Okay. It'll okay. be okay. It'll be fine. Oh, actually, I did not roll well. Yay. Um, Yay. I got yeah, like I got this. three zeros. Um, I got three um, uh, three stress and two effects. Oh, each of these counts one. So I got five. Okay, we did a little damage to the engine. Okay. Um, Okay, so what happens is out of the five stress damage to the engines, the hardness of the ship of four subtracts four of those points of damage. One point of damage is hits the ships, which is not two, which would damage them. So right now, uh, very warlock, especially <laughs> right near you, uh, the damage is considered a breach to the engine systems. And until you repair the breach, which is something you can do, 
um, the engines are inoperable. Oh. Which means the engines aren't working right now. Seems bad. Okay, but it's pretty easy to get them back up, uh, back. Um, and okay, so let's do the other weapon and see where it hits. Okay, so these are like big nuclear explosions just going off. I mean, you know, it's colorful. It's like, you know. Yeah, it's big. It's yeah. big. And we, we feel the concussive force. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody's being jostled around on the bridge. The plaques are pretending blurring. to be like falling over. <laughs> really, the camera. From Osun Station, the view is glorious. It's like, so pretty. Two, oh, wow. Two nuclear weapons going off. Boom, mushroom clouds. Old school. What? All right. So I rolled not even worried. He's just. <laughs> okay for the other one i rolled an eight um and the eight, oh by the way okay i'll hold that thought i did roll um an effect one of these dice means that mm -hmm. there's an effect so if the weapon has an effect that goes off too but i decided that um uh let's see here we go do, do. i decided that this was sufficient i didn't give it an effect because actually in many ways these are old tech sort of things so um okay <laughs> um the second hit i rolled an eight which is sensors oh takara hi hello hi sensor system oh that's uh actually your communications never mind i'm okay. comms i'm still fine let's see what i roll okay there's one there's three zeros. I actually rolled the exact same thing. Great. Oh. Five, five stress and and an effect. Okay, but the effects don't matter. So you've got uh one of them gets through, and so you guys got off really lucky. I was expecting the in ship to be a lot more badly okay. hurt from, from this. <clears throat> okay. So the sensors system on the ship and the engines are currently not working, um, but you guys have skills in repairing uh, when we get back to you. Okay, that takes care of, of those two groups. The next group we'll go to. Okay, so I want to, um, um, I want to fast forward a little bit for what's uh, happened to the group down on the mining colony okay mm. so um right. let me give you a little bit of um like during the time um uh, let's say like you it was your turn to go before when we finished the last session and let's say we went ahead and what you've done is you've got elias you've got samples from uh whatever the uh the particles are inside of elias that are creating ongoing uh damage to uh to his body and so you guys have you know, sort of casually collected Elias and are you taking the other damaged people with you too? Uh, uh, Valeris would make a point to take them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They, all... they can't be helped here. So yeah. 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 Okay. So there's no objection from, uh, yeah. Nurse Sion is happy that you are. And so you've taken those, uh, those five, bodies they all have these like hover uh, hovering uh pods. Sorts of, uh, pods that they float along and stuff it's pretty easy and uh you've loaded them up onto your um uh you have your own shuttle craft here correct it's not damaged or anything like that you've loaded up onto your shuttle craft and um and you are sailing and you probably promised who knows what you did you promise baragwan you'd be back and with food uh i promised that we would attempt to rectify the situation. That doesn't necessarily mean that we are coming back, but that we are making sure that it, the lines will be opened again. All right, so you've, um, okay, so you're you're giving him your personal promise that something's gonna happen. Something gonna will be. definitely happen. All right, okay, good. Um, and so what you can be doing this turn is, sailing, you know, flying out of the mining operation at a nice safe speed yeah. while all this sort of chaos is going on. And um, uh, and you will begin your next turn in full communication with the ship and the other parties, if there are any. If there are any, great. Ooh, like it. Okay. Do we uh, need to 
like because it's controlled do we don't need to roll for the for no 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 you guys are not in a tense situation you're just Mm. you're just getting into your into your ship and and sailing away and it's all hunky dory and it's all great so Mm -hmm. you've and and you're feeling very good i mean you're doing great on your mission you came here to get elias it wasn't easy to find you had to like you know get in there and make some deductions but you've got him like yeah oh let's it's time to go on to the to the next place i feel good about yeah. today, team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's going to be great. All right. So this <laughs> alternate. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone. <laughs> nice. Um, now back to the ship, the enemy ship, uh, oh. which you were, you probably guessed there was an enemy ship. I probably hint said I might have said there was an enemy ship. I might have let let that out at some point. Um, but now you definitely know that there's an enemy ship because it has moved into your zone. So the way oh. the way start that's what it's doing during its round. It is moving into your zone and it is firing more weapons that will go off next turn. Great. Oh. Yeah. Great. Three more. Plus, um, it launches a fourth device, um, which is just different. It's uh, differently constructed. It doesn't look like a missile. It looks like a craft, perhaps, of some sort. So um, that's what it does in its turn. The way uh, combat works, whether it's personal combat or space combat, is there's an abstract map of zones. And so I've already mapped this out just so I can be fair. But basically, this ship is you can move one zone in a turn. But zones are like really big spaces. So it's moved from the zone of what I'm calling the solar flare zone, which is just basically being so close to the sun that you can't detect it, um, to the, the zone where you guys are in. So you guys are all in the same zone now. Uh, well, I mean, the two, the two big ships are in the same zone. Mm-hmm. So it's called close range. Okay, got it. Um, okay. And that's what they do. Now we go to the group that's on the... Um, on Osun Station. Were we able uh, to see that there is the like we saw the launch and everything? Like, yeah, you saw the nuclear weapons go off of the ship, and you guys are in contact with them, you know, and they're like, "Holy Got shit!" Plaxes are going yeah. on. Like, yeah, the, like the shields. We know the shields don't work. We know, Ricky. I have, <laughs> I have an idea that I think you will like. <laughs> what is it? So we have a bomb here. We're going to strap the bomb to the ship. <laughs> oh, no. We have a bomb here, and yeah. we have an en- enemy ship, and I feel like it would be better for the bomb to go off near the enemies than here. So what if we, what if we wait, do that? Wait, are do we, we making all, a judgment on this? whether or not they deserve to all die right now? I mean, I guess better they, than us. They shot, they shot nukes at our house true yeah <laughs> so that's that they we are defending ourselves so, we are defending ourselves yes, yes, yeah I, I would just like to remind everyone we do have a undetonated nuke you are yep attached well, yeah. to us but we're not there we are on the station but the, but there's no there's no peaceful solution that we can maybe like try to come up with first no we just kill them all right all right no well i mean it's not that there's Blow no them peaceful up. solution we're just <laughs> Gotta disable their 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 stuff so we can yeah. start having peaceful negotiations. Cool. Uh-huh. So to be clear, um, what you ex- suspect are nukes, which are these machines that are mm-hmm. on the station, they're um, they're they're not on your craft on your shuttle craft at the moment. They're yep. and there's but there's there's one very clear to our yeah yeah we can kind one, of attach it. There's one actually in the where you landed. Let's, yep. let's call it the cargo uh, the cargo bay. And then there's one in engineering. Let's push that puppy out towards it. Okay, so you're uh, okay, great. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you guys go grab this machine. I mean, that's going to take your whole turn is to go grab the machine, and it's big, it's heavy. You figure out how to do that, and yeah, it feels that feels good. Bring it, bring yeah. it aboard. Uh, I'll go ahead and let uh, um, w- Willis take the lead on this because he seems like the most likely to be able to do this correctly okay. aim it aim it yeah they yeah, navigate a course for the bomb for the bomb sure. yeah, yeah. uh yeah and do, i i have a focus in exotic energy source technology i don't know if there's any way i can like 
like rig it to to detonate on impact instead of um <laughs> uh, I, th I think understanding energies and understanding how to rewire a bomb are probably kind of two different things yeah. so i had a question I, I would see that with giving you a bonus on the on what you want to do but it's it's not going to be the direct application of that skill. Okay. Um, to help uh, uh, Willis do this move, would you rather, like, would either flyby or push to the limits work for helping and aiding this? I'm, I'm not sure what those do. So, you have to so uh, this one. Um, this I'm, I'm one willing to give you the, the piece of getting the bomb on the cargo ship. I'm willing to just, just say that happened. Okay. Yes. So this one is more like uh, whenever there's a like, is this going to be a swift task for this or or anything like that? Because well, I think not, we're, then I'll... we're hustling, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're... So fly by, I, I could read it. Whenever you try use a swift tax momentum spend, you do not increase the difficulty of the second task you attempt to pilot or uh, pilot a vessel or vehicle. Oh, okay, right. So I think swift pass is when you basically spend momentum to do another task. In the same okay, way. so sure. that so, one doesn't work for this one. No, no you, you could do swift pass. You could, you can, in addition, basically, if I'm, uh, I'm just gonna pretend I'm right, instead of looking it up. Uh, basically, instead of, um, in addition to the three of you getting the machine onto the cargo ship, mm -hmm. you could do another thing. It's like getting an extra turn. Okay. And, uh, and normally you can spend momentum to do that, but it's at a penalty. And I think what this is letting you do is do it without a penalty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, no penalty. Do you want to spend a momentum to do another task? To definitely get it so we can get it started? Yes. Uh, yeah, you could like start flying your shuttle craft somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, you can... Uh, um, yeah. Okay. So much action this episode. All the actions, and then the other thing I was uh, thinking of using is push the limits. Yeah, what's that? Um, push the limits is when you attempt a contest that has increased difficulty due to environmental conditions or damage to the engines. Reduce the difficulty by one. Oh yeah, that strikes me as helpful when you get to the when end. you're on the ship okay yeah. to get to the end. <laughs> yeah, 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 to get on yeah. the ship okay. okay so that one doesn't okay. apply to this ship so for um uh so you're going to get on and basically uh push to get the get the cargo ship going and getting it off of the station yes so right. we can retaliate okay um Okay. We don't want to like get out there and like have one have somebody pushed out the back so that we still have our shuttle so we can get back to the ship. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, otherwise we we're hanging out on the station. Right. Right. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So yeah, I mean, you you do this. I'm not going to make a roll for it. You, uh, you you you're, but it will make you spend the momentum. So you guys spend a momentum to give you your extra action. So you do that. So, mm -hmm. okay. So here goes the momentum. So you're, you are down to three because you started at four, remember? And uh, where do you want to fly to? Uh, wait, fly which one? The bomb or yeah, our shuttle? Yeah, that's important. <laughs> well, maybe I misunderstood, but I thought you guys were moving the bomb onto the cargo ship. Are we moving I'm, the bomb? Just, the bomb shuttle. is now onto the shuttle, and the we're shuttle. like we're yeah. like gonna fling it off on the way. Yeah, well, is that what we're that. doing? Yeah, yeah. So it was that you were you were, were taking the bomb and putting it on the shuttle crap, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. and then we're okay, gonna now, go onto the shuttle, and then we're gonna push it off mid train. Right. And so now you want to fly the shuttle craft? Yeah. Where yeah. to? The... Ricky, Tokyo drift that baby, and like let's. Well, Let's you know, I, I I am pretty good at navigating, so I yeah. I wouldn't mind helping out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please. Will, that's why I was saying Williams to yeah. like, <laughs> calculate if we can like uh, whip whip the bomb at them while yeah. we're Bring drive it. by. Drive by. I'm gonna turn the course towards our uh, space station for us to still get there, but maybe just you know slingshot yeah. this this nuke yeah. 
off the R shuttle, which will propel us towards our yeah. uh, uh, towards the revelation. I love it. Can I make a suggestion? Uh, well, you, by all I'll means. Just, I, I just want to make one correction, and then Noari makes that you you said towards space station. You're actually leaving the space station. What I what, when I say space station, I mean very generally speaking, our spaceship. Your yeah. spaceship. We're so you want to head. You want to take the, the revelation. Nuke. You want to take the nuke to the revelation. Got no, it. no, okay. no, no, no. We're no. gonna okay, so hear we're a thing I said. The whole plan yeah. was so exciting. <laughs> Okay. I said we're gonna slingshot the nuke off the ship as we head towards the revelation. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes there a lot more sense. That makes more sense. Okay, Noir, what's your suggestion? Uh, I think at this point, Whirl would go. Um, missiles generally have a computer in their warhead so that they know where to go. We could simply. Warlow's on the planet. He's not here. <laughs> but that oh. is that is the thing that <laughs> I suggested are, earlier. Are, that aren't we all on? Do. Aren't we all on comms, or are we not? Uh, We're not out. No, our, you're not on. We're low. Yeah, not our on planet comms ones are next turn. Yeah. You're you're, okay. you're oh. about. Yeah, but right, the so, was, yeah, oh, that's what you're trying to explain. Ricky thought you meant strap the ship and slingshot the bomb via momentum of the ship to the other. Uh, okay, I that's why I understand gonna, it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. and I I tried to see if I could. Bubbles breaks in and, and you know, yeah, you are all, yes, the party line is still working. You guys are all still on the party line. And by the way, good news, Captain Pixie and the the, the rest of them, um, I haven't met any of them either, but they are on, they they are just coming into communication range. Oh, great. Hey, what, uh, oh. what's <laughs> going timing. on up there? But, but not yet. They're yeah, just coming, not yet. just about, because your team already went I'm ready. So, yeah. yeah no, do we do the lot the slingshot move? Uh, okay. So yes, you're gonna find out. You're gonna do this slingshot move and her and try and hurl this bomb toward oh, the lasso I, maneuver. I, I think the, wait, slingshot or lasso? Which one? Okay, Don't get bogged down in the it's names and the details. You know what I'm what I and there's I nothing I, I can yeah. do to a check to see if I can like assist with it to I'll move. All the help I can give. Okay, so um uh, you remember your first primary action was getting the bomb on a cargo ship. Got it. Once I used a momentum to do another action. So if you want, you can use a momentum too, if you like, to do this now, or you can wait and do it in the next turn. Use uh, the momentum. I'm, talk, I'm talking to you, Javion. Oh, I'm using momentum. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. There you go. Now you're doing. Now you're down to two. Uh, so. Yeah, you get to do this whole move in, in like one action. Like you fly out there and and you're gonna fly and base and then basically turn and use the centripetal force of the turn to yeah. launch the nuclear weapon at the enemy um ship. Yeah, All right. yeah that sounds great. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah that it. sounds great. Okay, so I, I don't roll too quickly because I think this might be a place where you want to apply some um some karma. You have um You'll roll two dice. This is going to be a test of, of um, uh, daring. Daring, yes. Very daring. Good, oh, did I just play into your sweet spot? Oh, yes. Uh, this is an, And it's an attack. Um, it's also an attack, and it's also kind of a navigation thing. So I will let you pick between security or con. Con. Okay. Okay, and so what, what are those two numbers added together? 13. 13. Okay. Well, well, well. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Hold that thought, Sarah. What were you going to say? Can, can, can I co pilot? I mean, it would probably eat up another momentum, right? You, but you I. Can, you can. Uh, I can, can I assist? You can. Yes. That would, eat, that would be an action. That would eat up one more momentum. Do you, what do you guys think? You only get one die. But. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay. Let's do it. All right. We. Woo, one moment. One left. die and it's con and uh yeah, a con or security and daring. Uh -huh. All right. That's uh, I need a smaller than eleven. And I got a three. Okay. Right. Yes. All right. Okay. So uh back to you, Javion. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna get two dice for sure. Yeah. You're gonna get 13 or less. Mm -hmm. Uh the difficulty of this. It's pretty, I mean, I think this is a 
difficulty of three. It's three. a pretty tough maneuver. Okay. Um, Did I get one success from my co-pilot? Yeah, but you have to get one success yourself for the assistance success to help. Uh, yes, but one wouldn't do it anyway. Now remember, you've got you could what, you, if I get eight. two, would that be three? Yeah. Yeah. If you get okay. two, then you add her, right? So cool. you only get two dice to roll, and they both have to be thirteen or less. I've got a focus. I'd like to. Use. Yes. Okay. The <laughs> focus increases your threat range. What's the focus? Astro navigation. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, what is your? Are you using security or con? Which did you decide? Con, right? Con. So what is your con skill? Two. Two. Okay. So, if you get a one, or, <laughs> if you get a one or a two, it counts two successes. Woo! Um, if you want to increase your odds, you can spend your determination here, but you have to decide that before you roll. That's an auto one with two successes. That means you will succeed. Oh. I want to roll. Oh, all right. right. Two rolls. I I am saving determination for something where it might be like a life or death situation. This is because we have a nuke in our ship. Okay, go ahead. You're right. You're right. Here we go. Go Go ahead. Roll. Roll your two dice. Yeah. Okay. I got a six. Is my lowest. And what was the other one? A (laughs) twenty. So you got you got one success. Yes. And um, uh, you got it's just a, a success from your assistant, mm-hmm. uh, but, but you, failed. you failed the test. Only uh, oh, no. So uh, the bomb goes <laughs> curling off and, you know, from the angle, it looked like it was going to hit, but, you know, it, angles are tricky and oh, uh, we it, tried. it goes okay. sailing, sailing off. Oh, and, and, and you guys have done way years. more in this turn than I probably should have let you do, but you burned up a lot of momentum, so I feel good about that. We did what great. happens in a, on a 20? Uh, 20, there is a complication. Thank you for reminding me. Well, um, oh, why? No. Why? <laughs> I feel like it's already complicated <laughs> enough. I think yeah. we're good. Um, more, please. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to do the quick answer. Is I can I can create some sort of complication, or I can just give myself two threat. I'm going to do that since I'm low on threat. So. Ugh. There we go. That's that's cool too. Unless somebody has a real quick, it's a cool idea for a complication. This is um, a complication. It heads towards the planet instead. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Heading towards the mining operation. No, I did tell them that something would come their way. <laughs> Davia, you get a gold star. That was that was gold really star. good. No, that was very Jamie. very good. Our hubris. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, uh, let's keep this going. Okay, so that ends that round, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, so the next round, the way the initiative works in the system, I think is kind of interesting. Um, uh, whoever goes last in one round, that side goes first in the next round. So um, oh. since you guys went last, then um, the bad guys get to go next. That right? So we go, no, but us. we went last, so we would go first. No, no, no. Whoever, excuse me, whoever didn't go last, like, is that right? I don't remember. Okay. I don't want to look so it up. You know what stamped? I'm gonna do just to be more fair? I'm gonna alternate. They okay. went, they went first last time. I'm let you guys go first this time. So Ooh. you as the players get to decide which of those groups goes next. It can either be the revelation, which includes STEM, it can be uh the shuttle with Captain Pixie, or it can be the shuttle. Um, with uh, Ricky Santos. Okay, so I have a really quick question. Yeah. Where Where is Warlow? <laughs> like, I don't You're remember. on the shuttle with Pixie. You're on the gotcha. shuttle. Okay. okay, so just to be clear about that, mm-hmm. so at the beginning of this round, um, you guys are now in communication uh, sense, uh, and um, it's you're, you're flying out of the, um, uh, you're in the zone that is the planet. And you mm-hmm. you can um, fly into the zone where everybody else is this turn. Um, you can push it, spin momentum. By the way, if you run out of momentum, you can give yourself more momentum by giving me two threat. Okay, one, but one there's percent. also a there's also a nuke heading toward the planet. Yeah, there is a nuke heading towards the planet. Okay, that was our fault. Whoops. Yeah, no, I assumed. Um, I think. I think. What if we? 
what if we try to detonate the nuke before it gets to the planet so it's not in range? Because we oh, do have but, small but, but, well, but we're, we're trying to weapons. figure out who goes first. Right. So, so right. like, so maybe the but, shuttle coming Ixies? from the mining. Yeah. Let, let me give you a piece of information that might be really important. Oh, God. That when after you, after one of your groups goes, one of the bad guy groups goes, which will be, I will choose it to be the three nuclear, the three nukes that were fired last round. They're going up this round. Mm. I feel so like that's the next thing that's going to happen. Stem, so, should they already went. Thing. They already went off. Oh, this is three more. Remember, I said three more. Yeah, nukes. this is. Oh, right. They're going to fire more. three nukes every turn, girl. Yeah. So okay. I would say stem should go first. Then on that, I think stem should probably go next. Stem and the. Uh, Good okay. luck. Stem We're all counting on you. Okay, <sighs> so your shields are still up. Your shields mm -hmm. took no damage. Good job. Yeah. But, but they didn't protect us from a god dang thing. So, mm. so you kind of have two choices. I see it, maybe uh, that are kind of obvious, but maybe you'll think of something else. One is to repair the damage to the engines so they're operational again. You can also delegate that. It's just, and that's, a, a, and that's a minor action. If you delegate that then you still have your major action, but you're delegating it to your subordinates has less chance of success. Okay. Uh, the other thing that perhaps needs to be done is to try and modulate the shields so that they are effective against um, Neo nukes. <laughs> I mean, there's a third. Oh, I like that one. You have a third option? Yeah. There's a third idea that I'm not exact. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Come <Richard> on. <laughs> So we there's a new heading towards a planet full of innocent people. That Correct. Would be, or, I will point out that the mining operation and all the people in it are a long ways underground. Yeah, but I, I still don't. I, I mean, I, and there's nobody living on the surface. This is this is a rock. There's nobody living on the surface. The only people living in are in the mining operation, um, and maybe it would affect them. Certainly would damage yeah. the atmosphere in that area. Yeah, like, I mean, like turn with it lies. And nobody's really, and you're also, by the way, not quite sure how close it's going to land. Somebody would have to do some sort of uh, like um, analysis. Right. Here's, to my, here's my really bad, no good idea. Um, oh, no. I would like to transport the nuke from where it's heading towards the people uh, that are shooting us. Ooh. Oh. Drama. Can you use the transporter? That? Yeah. Yeah, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you, could, you could transport it onto the ship, I think. But that would be... Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, I made a house rule that the transporter at this age of technology only works oh. by in or out of the transporter room. It turns wow. out that that's not an accurate rule, but I made the rule and I'm going to stick with it. All right. In yeah. that case, uh, I'll just go uh, for modulating our ship, and I'll delegate shields. our shields, and I'll uh, delegate um, uh, repairing our aging. Okay. Uh, let's roll the now. By the way, the repair function, what it does is it gets the system working again, so the engines are working. It still counts as a breach. Okay. If you think of that, the number of breaches is that tally toward two or four, where it gets to two, the engines are damaged. If it gets to four, the images, the engines are destroyed. Um, so even if they, if they're successful, they get the engines working again, but it, it's still got problems. Gotcha. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, all righty. So, so what, what am I rolling here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, get that out. You can... Um, Oh, that's under damage. Okay, so uh, it's called the damage control task. You send a damage control team to repair a single breach, choose the system, it's going to be engines, and it's presence plus engineering because it's basically you're using your command and oh. your advice. So it's presence plus engineering. So you are influencing them, um, and how well you instruct them is what you're testing. Oof. Okay. I feel like he would be very specific. <laughs> so 
Uh, my target number is 12. Okay, and you get uh, two dice. It's only a um, uh, it's only a difficulty of one, I think. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah, so difficulty of one, you got two dice. Oh, uh, that's a three and a four. Woo! All right, great. Okay, okay. So the engines are operable again, thanks to your crew, Ooh. who are who are terrified of you. And yeah, go Stem, <laughs> go. You lead them Shit like Ricky. Breaks, them. I will murder you. I will. I will find you, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> this is all your fault. Okay. Um. You are now. You're going to try to re- uh, modulate the shield so that they will resist damage from incoming nukes, a uh, neo nukes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you, I'm going to give you an, um, an advantage from the studying of the particles from down on that. Right. So, gotcha. yeah. So I'm going to give you a, okay. So the base role is this is definitely an engineering task. Uh, your attributes, because you're doing it under pressure mm-hmm. is daring. 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 Plus you're having to work fast and make leaps in logic uh to get to there so what is your engineering plus daring uh my daring and so that's a 15 total 15 total okay uh so this is pretty tough work i'm going to call it difficulty of three and uh you've got two dice okay so you need I, three successes i think i have something for this um caution one second you must choose the and you have one less. There's one more momentum you could spend. All right. Uh, I have cautious engineering that says whenever you attempt a task with that discipline, uh, you uh, and you buy one or more D20s by spending momentum, you may reroll a single D20. And you, uh, so I am going to uh, spend momentum. Oh, do it. To get another okay. guy. There goes the last momentum. Remember, you can always get more by just giving me two threat. Uh, it's right. very like the generous. Third time you've yeah. reminded us about. That. I only have three. <laughs> uh, hold on, I think I think I have one other thing here. All right, um, yeah, it's good, good, good time to look for it. Yep, engineering. <laughs> a little more power. Whenever you succeed at an engineering task aboard your ship, you may spend one uh, momentum to regain one spent power. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, power <laughs> is power power of supply of the ship. You guys haven't spent any power, so you're not down power at all. Okay. So yeah, that wouldn't help you right now. That's a, that's a good thing. Power is a very precious resource, but your power is at nine. And um, okay. Oh, wait. wait. You might have actually you spent a power to put up the shields. You do have your power is currently at eight. I apologize. All right, cool. Then I'm bringing that back. I'm very glad that I get a reroll because that was a 20. Uh, all right, so that is a three, a seven, and a four. So that's three successes. Woo! Three, and seven, and four. Is- How did you get the extra die? I spent for momentum. Oh, that's right. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. That was his, <laughs> yeah, his yeah, talent yeah, that he yeah, used. Yeah, 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 right. You got uh, it. Okay. You rolled three dice. You need three successes out of that. That was ballsy, but you did it. You got it. Good job. I didn't good job. use the determination. And we only have, you know, half hour left in this game. I'm good. good. Okay. Um, okay. So you have modulated the shields so that your shields now will help in deflecting the damage from uh, this. So your shields are in play. Congratulations. Um Ooh. Uh, this also, by the way, the shields being up means that the um, transporter doesn't work, by the way. You can't transport uh, through the shields, and cargo sh- and shuttle craft can't go through the shields either. So We're going to figure it out. That. Yeah, we'll it, figure it out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am going to roll to see. Uh, wait, uh, any? I think that finishes the revelation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, great. I'm going to roll the the three... Nukes. Roll um, so high. Uh, Get 20s, all 20s. One of them missed. Yeah. And one of them definitely hit. Mm. I need three successes at 14 or less, in case you're wondering. This uh, is why we have shield. And that's, uh, that was only one miss. So that's okay. So two hits. The first nuke goes off. Neo nuke, the neo nuke goes off. Um, Oh my God, it's horrible. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we like those rules. So I only got four. The good news is that the hardest applies first. So whatever the hardest doesn't stop is damage to the shields. But I only got four. The hardest stops four. Yeah. So that nuke did no nothing at all. What nuke? looks beautiful though. Looks Sexy great. Nuke. Pew pew. I'm pretty sure I'm a little better than that. This next one. No, what bad. system? What system is it gonna hit? That's the that's the exciting part because like it's personal then, right? Okay, because we have the sensors. Oh. Um oh. uh science officer. Um that's you, Noir, right? You're the science officer? Yeah. Make a roll. Huh? Yes. Yeah, make a roll for the NPC science officer assistant who is trying to repair the damage to the sensors. Ooh. Okie dokie. Just one uh, die. One die. Oh, one die. Okay. One die, ten or less. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh th oh, that nope, that's a 13. 13. Okay. So sensors are still damaged. Okay. So um the next next nuke. It's a lot of pressure on that guy. He's hitting. <laughs> I love this part. This is like my favorite part. Orlo is just insulting him the entire structure. <laughs> structure. Structure. Structure of the ship. The hole. Damage okay. to the hole. Here we go. And oh, that's much better. Okay. One, two, three. Those are two each. And these are one each. So that's six. Minus four is two. Okay, so your shields drop from 11 to nine. So, you know, I can start track like, oh, okay, we got, you know, we've got about 80% of the shields left. So the nukes go off, ship rattles, no damage except for the shields. All right, cool, good. Um, Okay. Who's, who's going next, uh, Captain Pixie or Ricky? Sanders? Yeah, I think the sh I think the Captain <laughs> Pixie's shuttle because I think where I'm going to. You can just decide, Sarah. You're the captain. Yeah, I'm doing it. At the end. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to try to shoot that nuke that is heading towards the planet um, to detonate it early so that it doesn't do any damage. You don't um, have any weapons on your shuttle. You said crap. we had small. Oh, you have, oh, you have small weapons like nuke, like machine guns. Well, if you hit a nuclear bomb, it's probably going to explode, even if you yeah. have small ones. But, yeah, but if you're close enough to hit it with your machine gun, you're going to blow yourself up, too. Can we? <laughs> hey, you have a navigator on... No, uh, nope. no, you no, don't. No, we don't. Sorry. Yeah. I want... Can we nudge it to divert it another direction? Uh, well, first of all, why don't you see where it's going to land? There, there are three of you. You can each do an action, by the way. Let's, let's, let's recall that, right? Mm -hmm. There's four of you, actually, on this shuttle craft, oh, right? So any one of you, and remember, even if you're not good at something, any of you can do anything. So one of you sh could use the computers to analyze whether mm. where this bomb is going to detonate based on its trajectory. Trajectory. All right. I want to roll to gain useful information about the bomb. As a security officer, I want to know the threat level. Okay, right. Oh, like how big the explosion and stuff will be? Yeah. yeah. It's a nuke, but what kind of nuke? Like, is it a baby nuke, though? It's, no, it's a neo nuke. Tiny. It's like super bigger, super much bigger than anything in it the world. It only did poor damage, and it didn't even hurt us. So. <laughs> That's it's because kind of, it's kind of good point. these are starships, and they got shields, and the the composites and the materials and shit like that. It's like crazy. Okay, so you're going to do um, uh, using the computers mm -hmm. of of the um, uh, yeah. of the shuttlecraft, which are not that great, but um, I'm going to make this a science plus reason test for you. Science plus reason. It's, but it's only going to be difficulty one. Science. And you get to roll two dice. Difficulty one. All right. Here we go. Yeah. For Jenkins. I got a three. Oh, great. Okay. So you know where it's going to land. But the real question is, where is it going to land? Okay. I'm going to roll a D20. That didn't, that didn't answer the question I had. Tried oh, to I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rolling. I wanted to know about the new. Like, the what, are, what are its fears? What are, where did it grow up as a kid? Like she wants to know how much damage gonna it's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh. How much trauma does it bring to the table? Yeah. Okay, I, I misunderstood. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Um, the damage of what the nuke does, um, mm -hmm. it's 
it's way bigger than any new that we in the real world know about. Okay, because it's a it's a civilization that kept focusing on this technology uh, instead of going into matter antimatter, uh, which is what photon torpedoes are use. Okay, or energy weapons, which are lasers. Are. And is there anything we lasers. can do to it from where we are? Like we're like rushing past it. I mean, if you guys blew it up, then either it would not blew up, you know. But let's see, from where you're at in terms of what you could do. Um, well, like Sarah said, you guys could ram it with a cargo ship and change its course. Okay. But I'm going to go back to what I said. You guys don't know its current course yet. Okay. Um, uh, and in terms of how much damage it would do, based on the damage you've seen it do to the revelation, um, whether it would hurt the mining colony just depends on where, where it lands. If it, like, like if, if, if it was like a, a 20 on an attack and it landed right in that fissure mm. that you guys had to sail down, mm. uh, that could be really bad. But that fissure isn't very big. Um, in, and you're talking about a whole planet. Who knows where it's going to land? Captain? What, uh, what next? I have surmised that the explosion will cause a great deal of damage. We need to know where it's going to land if we are going to divert it. Uh, Warlow, can you do the math on that? Uh, <laughs> Nuke is heading forward the planet. Yeah, this yeah, is right up your alley. Is math? Right. Um, <laughs> what am I rolling here? Uh, yeah, so if you're willing to do it, uh, basically it's the same role that I mistakenly gave to Javion, which is uh, science plus reason. Oh, okay. So Very good at that. Be... And you only need one success, and you need, and you get to roll two dice. Oh, oh yeah, this is this is gonna be deep. And it's, uh, yeah, um, okie dokie. So that's an eight and a nine. Okay, yeah. Okay, so where is it gonna land? I'll find out. I'm gonna roll twenty sided die, and the higher I roll, the closer to the mining camp. Okay, cool. just gonna be random. I rolled a six. Great. Ooh, it's, so it's very far. Not going to be anywhere near it. Um, the atmosphere in that area will uh, will take some radiation. There will be ongoing effects of radiation in the atmosphere in that area. Uh, they might have some, there might be some damage of rocks flying into the fissure. They might risk some tunnel damage. But it seems remote. It's quite okay. a ways away. Uh, then I think we should try to get back to the ship and help Revelation if that's not going to do anything. So know, let's, let's double time it there. Um, I would like to, I, I don't know if I need to assist with, with flying. I probably am the one flying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably it's me. Yeah. I'll do it. Um, and I would like to use my focus of escape and avoidance okay. to get up there as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, you you can fly to the ship, no problem. The the, the challenge is landing. The shields are up. No, you said the oh, oh the shields have taken taken damage, but they're not. Yeah, they're, yeah. Still, they're still up. They're still up. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As long mm -hmm. as the shields up, we can't get in. But you okay. could go and sort of sit, uh, park in the shadow of the ship, if you will, yeah. like uh, get position yourself so that the ship is. Um, between you and the enemy ship. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, you could go dock on the outside of the ship. Yeah, we're gonna go your, be don the your space suits, Don your space suits and do a yeah. spacewalk onto the revelation. Let's do it. All right. We're, we're gonna go be the hat. Let's go. What do I have right. to roll for that? Anything? Um, I'm gonna give you, a, oh, hey, backing up just a moment. Noir, you needed one success in your old three. So you had that generated two momentum for the party. Woo! Gang, gang. Woo. So it's actually a, an important part of the cycle here that I give Welcome. you easy tests for once in a while so that you can get more. Okay, so I'm going to give you a difficulty one test to okay. go. And um, it is kind of tricky to go land a shuttle craft and have it docked to the outside of the ship. And while there's nuclear weapons going out. In fact, I think I should call that a difficulty two, don't you? Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Can I can can I use my focus of escape and avoidance to get there? Uh, so the focus will increase the threat range on mm -hmm. whichever discipline, and I think the discipline here in this case is going to be con. 
Perfect. And I think the attribute's going to be daring. Great. And can I also use my value of big shoes to fill because I got something to prove? Yes, that would enable if you, if you wanted to using your determination. Gonna. So I get three dice, right? You get Good. two anyway. And then mm -hmm. if, you use, if you use your determination point, yeah, then you get a third die and it automatically rolls a one. Great. All right. I got that, which will be two successes. I need to roll below a 13. And I rolled an eight and a nine and a one. So I have four successes. Oh, you got a one. Nice. Uh, okay, so uh, you generate one more momentum, either for the party, or you could use it to do another action, like get on the ship. Let's use it to get on the ship. All right. Oh, Ricky's going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, no, he really is. <laughs> So, Ricky, you... Oh, wait, that's the other group. That is legit. Um, we still have Valeris. You still have an action. Oh, uh, I still have an action. I was just going to... Okay, so let's see what else I was doing. I mean, I guess um, we need to get the bodies on the ship. Yeah, I was just going to go ahead and take care of what, like, what I can. I'm sure there's people hurt on the ship. Uh, yeah. Valeris is just going to go on... Uh, a triage mode just like getting getting the bodies that we have onto the ship and then you know what yeah i'm just gonna so you're, transport so you're are you um are, are you getting off the shuttlecraft and getting onto the ship like are you following um or are you going to stay with the injured oh i'm gonna i guess so i will stay with the injured for now until we can transport them safely safely yeah, so yeah, i will be in yeah. the shuttle still okay all right. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to think of something here. That's that's yeah. good. Um, okay. The um, uh, the last round of of so the last round of nukes did no damage, and you're repairing the damage to. Um, um, I. Think that oh I'm I'm thinking about we're alternating I'm going back to the enemy ship is what I'm thinking about right now that's whose oh, action it is does the Ricky and those guys not get to go no they'll get to act right. we're alternating we're going back and okay, forth yeah. between the two sides right oh, okay so uh, we started off with the PCs but in that case it was the group of the Revelation um, and then we went to the warheads which is a separate group from enemy ship and then we went to your guys' shuttle. And then now we're going back and then Ricky goes last. Okay, so um, the commander of the other ship, after realizing that the last round of nukes did no damage to your ship, and because we're almost out of time, <laughs> is going to um, leave. Hi, bye. Yeah, don't come back. I mean, this all came down to what the initial damage was from the nukes without shields. Like, I, oh, yeah, that, that, now, now you guys are basically getting all the staff back on board. And... Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, and when it leaves, so... when it leaves, it just flies. As far as you can tell, it just flies into the sun. I mean, it, it couldn't have flown in, in, actually into the yeah. sun. It's a right? shame. It's the it, shame of defeat. It flies towards the sun and disappears from your sensors and is Great. so close to the sun you can't you can't find it you can't see it it's like hmm. it's like the ultimate cloaking device as long as you don't mind staying right very close to the sun as soon as stem sees either pixie or ricky he's ranting and venting <laughs> i feel like it would be ricky more than <laughs> Than Pixie. How, I mean, he is welcome to. How is this one the one that leads the ship when you're going? <laughs> there, there will be uh, disciplinary actions taken about about Ricky Stem. So what is that? That's a good way. We have a few minutes. We're all set up. We have a few minutes before we uh, conclude this uh, phase of this story. And uh, 
Uh, so, yeah, so, how, so how are you going to handle the situation? That's Those are tough situations. So Ricky will go ahead and take full responsibility because that's the only decent thing he could do. Right. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's just like, I will accept the punishment. I was in the pursuit of knowledge mm-hmm. of, of what was really affecting the ship. We did find out, but it cost us way too much. Yeah. I did not think that there was an actual enemy ship in the presence of this. And I am sorry, Captain Pixie, I realized that I may need to step down from. Uh, I mean, I, I think there's going to be, a, uh, I don't, uh, we're not demoting you, but I think there's going to be what? like, like a, a suspension. You are going to be like, like put on suspension without, without pay sort of like, like two weeks ago go think about what you did (laughs) because essentially like there's not her her other choices of who to leave in charge of the ship are not great and we all saw how well (laughs) you all you all saw how well freeze did yeah no i yeah uh so like you're you're being it's going to be a mark on your record that there was disciplinary action against you and you're going to be uh you're going to be suspended for a bit but then you got to come up and you got to uh, you got to I and get I, I your think shit that, together I think me. I think Freeze is going to you know be filling in for her and Captain Pixie will very quickly to wish for those two weeks to be over I, yeah <laughs> I I contemplate multiple times just airlocking Freeze just a couple just like <laughs> Can William like sneak in once in a while and be like, okay, so you're you're you got one reroll if you want to use it now. I'm but if you want, you can get yourself an extra die if you give me two points of threat. Now what do you want to do? <laughs> Is this a new DMing style? <laughs> I, do, I do feel like uh that all of those take place like he's not in the brig. He's just like confined to quarters. So they're yeah. all now at in Ricky's. Ricky's grounded. <laughs> so the, so the, Modif- the Modifius game is in Ricky's quarters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, nobody else is allowed to visit. How did you me, get Stem to come back here? Oh, because I knew Stem. I knew you were hard on me earlier, but I know you're still, you still believe in me. Thank you. That's why I'm still in position. I'm glad you put a good word in for me. Three cheers for Stem. Yeah, hey, good Stem. job, Stem. Hey, every under direct fire from nuclear warheads, I found the accurate frequency needed to modulate the shields to protect our ship. You did great. I am glad I gave you the opportunity to prove yourself and to improve (laughs) the ship. That just proves how good of a leader you are, Ricky. Thank you, William. See, yeah, William co pilot all the way. All right, <laughs> like 80s frame, freeze frame there, just, just like so. The, yeah, so the closing, you know, the closing graphics are to be continued. Uh, you know, season two, or something, and uh, uh, and you guys are we 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 leave the story with you en route to K two with Elias and um, uh, Valeris has uh, nursed him back to life with with the medical technology. Got him going again. And you find out, I will tell you this much more about his mission. Um, the mission on K2 is that K2 is a pre-warp core technology. It's, it's, a, it's a civilization, uh, but they, um, uh, they're pre-warp core technology, which means that there's not been first contact. And, uh, but Starfleet has an obligation, a mission, if you will, to monitor pre-war core technology um, societies as they progress toward war core technology. Uh, and so that when they get there, the closer they get to there, the more of an event this becomes where Starfleet prepares uh, how to, uh, to do that first contact. And Elias is an expert on that system. Like his whole field of study is the people of K2 and like what, what you know how they are and what they do and blah 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 blah, blah, blah right stuff like that yes Bondi. could we do a random roll to see if we actually did help the mining with this with the at all like yeah. can we see just like 
it's a close story on that. And I feel like. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We could. Could we roll to see? Can can, can uh, Captain roll to see if she convinced to send supplies to the post? Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, just just uh, I want to just know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do, just roll to see what yeah, would sure. that be command uh yeah command plus um insight you got this you got all right it. and roll I would like 20. to use my focus of uh inspiration perfect yeah sure I got a one and a two whoa okay. it helps <laughs> I helped well, them so much unless the nuke actually did kill them but uh, yeah. otherwise yeah, no, Am Admiral Winston uh, will send immediately dispatch a, another uh, another vessel to aid the mining camp at, um, at Oyo. We did Perfect. it. Perfect. We did it. Yeehaw. We learned nothing and we, we learned did nothing, it. but we did it. All right. We uh, Before we wrap up, let's do quick introductions. We've got to be out of here before Sarah's table at 5 o'clock. So, uh, Bonsai, we'll yeah, start with Sarah you. beat us out here otherwise. Hi, uh, I'm Bonsai Baby. You could just find me on Twitch and Twitter and TikTok. Uh, I do, I mostly yell at the microphone. I am very entertaining. Trust me. <laughs> she is. I'm about for that. And confirm. All right. Noir? Hi, I'm Noir. You can find me all over the internet as the Noir Enigma. That's Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And I am not entertaining. <laughs> good to know he's wrong Lies. great tagline for your show <laughs> all right jvi <laughs> hi everybody you'll never find me i've been hiding for 10 years and it's gonna stay that way but you can find me here every friday for table table 2 p.m pacific thank you sarah <laughs> hi i'm sarah moore you can find me on facebook at actor sarah moore and you can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram and Ko-Fi and TikTok at Pixies and Pins. And if you stick around here in just a couple minutes, we're going to be doing an episode of Sarah's Table. And today we are playing The Vanishing Lands, which is a brand new RPG written by my partner. <gasps> That's Jeff Moore's new That's book, Jeff Moore. It? What? It is. Excellent. Ah. All right. <laughs> um, I... Before I say goodbye, I want to uh, say we I neglected to review our safety uh, rules for the session. I apologize. We have done that in every other session. I think we all were pretty aware of what they were, so I think we were pretty safe, but um, I should have done that. Admit to it. I am Peter Atkinson. You can find me here on Gen Con TV, Table Tapes, 2 p.m. on Friday. That's Pacific time. And also, sometimes you'll see me on Akaroki, which is Wednesdays at 6 p.m., where we turn RPGs into movies. And this would be a wild movie. Yeah. Yeah. What just yes, movie. <laughs> yeah, this would be. A we got to find a. We got to find the actor who could just furrow their brows all the time to play STEM. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of fun. I'm just gonna say I love. Thank you for indulging me. I know this was very oh, much well. indulge Peter. I'm doing Star Trek. But it was lovely. This is fun. It was great. I liked it. All right. Thank I you. All right. Let's go. Uh, zoom us out, Mark. Mark.